Motor Week is made possible by rockauto.com. Here's something we don't see nearly enough of, and that's an electric vehicle on a lift in a service shop. Now, why is it that we don't see them? Well, because most people who own an electric vehicle seem to think that zero emissions means zero maintenance. Well, that's true in certain parts of the car, but not in all parts of the car. So, what do we have? Well, we don't have an engine, so we don't have oil changes and filters and all of that stuff. Uh, we don't have a fuel tank, we don't put gasoline in them, and we don't have a transmission in most of them, so we don't have transmission fluid and so on. But why do they have to go to a repair shop? Well, most of them have cooling systems for the batteries. They have all of the same mechanical things underneath, things like control arms for the steering, the steering rack, the uh, axles for the drive wheels and things like that. So all of these things should be checked on a regular basis. Now additionally, it should go into the shop every 7,500 miles or so to have the tires rotated so that you get the best wear out of the tires. And at the same time, just like on a internal combustion car, what the technician should be doing is going over all of these other things. The suspension, the brakes, uh, a battery test, not the uh, electric battery, but the battery that operates the radio and all of these other components that are 12 volt on the car. So these are things that should be a routine for any electric vehicle, just like it is for a gas powered vehicle. So. The other thing is, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, I would highly recommend against doing much of anything other than tire rotations and maybe checking the brakes or something. Do not get near the orange wires. They can be very dangerous. So do a little preventive maintenance on your EV and you'll get a lot better service life out of it. And if you have a question or comment, drop me a line right here at Motor Week.